What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com and today I got an exciting video for you guys. This is part 2 of our water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3 build. In our last video we actually built our water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3 and it looked freaking sick. In this video we're going to test out that water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3's performance and we're going to compare it to a regular Raspberry Pi 3 with no cooling whatsoever. We're going to run some benchmarks and we're going to get some temperature readings from those benchmarks and we're going to compare the two Raspberry Pis to see which one is the top dog in cooling. Alright guys, so now the way this is going to work, I have two terminals here and I am remotely accessing both Raspberry Pis right now and we're using PuTTY to remotely access those Raspberry Pis. The top one here, this is our water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3 and this bottom one here, this is our Raspberry Pi 3 with no cooling whatsoever. Now we're going to use a uh, benchmark, uh, it's called Sysbench and uh, I got this method from a YouTuber. His name is Chris. All right, Chris from Explaining Computers. He's an awesome YouTuber. I'm going to use his method. And he uses his method when he, uh, when he gets the bench and temps for, for his cooling Raspberry Pi 3 videos that he does. And he did a bunch of them. You have one here, Raspberry Pi 3, more extreme cooling. You have Raspberry Pi 3, extreme passive cooling, you have Raspberry Pi 3 fan and cooling test, then you got Raspberry Pi 3 CPU temperature test and heat sink. Again, he's an awesome YouTuber, you guys should subscribe. If you guys subscribe, let him know that I recommended you. Now let's get started with the benchmark. Now we're going to start off with the Raspberry Pi without the cooling, that's the bottom one right here. And uh, our benchmark that we're using is a bash file, and again before we can start the benchmark you have to download something called Sysbench. To download Sysbench, all you have to do is type in sudo space apt hyphen get apt space in i n s t a l l s y s b e n c h. Then hit enter. I already installed mine. Once you install it, if it says type in y, then hit y. Then uh, we're going to actually run a bash file. And this bash file I got from explaining computers Chris he created an awesome bash file using sysbench and uh, with his uh, benchmark it runs six tests which really uh, test the CPU and push it to its limits and uh, between those tests it'll give you the temperature reading of the CPU so that we can use this temperature reading to compare both Raspberry Pi's threes the one with water cooling and the one without so again, we're going to use our Raspberry Pi 3 without cooling first. Again, we're going to test out our first one here, the Raspberry Pi 3 with no cooling whatsoever. And I'm going to show you the file, the bash file. Uh, I'm going to type in nano. And that file name is test.sh. And this is the same file Chris from Explaining Computer uses again. If you guys want to pause the video, you can copy this uh, code, create your own bash file. All you have to do is type in nano. The file name. When you add the file name, you have to add a .sh to it. Then save the file. Then, um, then you can run the file. I'll show you how to run the file right now. Let me just exit from here, and we're gonna run the first benchmark. To run the benchmark, we're gonna type in dot forward slash the file name. I name mine test .sh. Once I hit enter, the benchmark should start. And again, it started. It started off with a 45.6 degrees Celsius. It's going to go on for like 10 minutes. I'm going to come back once this is finished. All right, guys, the test is over. As you can see here, it started off at 45.6 degrees Celsius. It got as high as 82.2 degrees. That's too hot to run our Raspberry Pi 3. Now we're going to do the same thing with our water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3. And I can't wait to see what results we get from it. So all you have to do is uh, type in dot forward slash our file name, which is test.sh hit enter. I'll come back once this test is over. All right guys, so the benchmark is complete. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi 3 with water cooling did way better than the Raspberry Pi 3 with no cooling. It started off with a temperature of 33.2 Celsius and it didn't get hotter than 50.5 degrees Celsius and it even dropped temperature towards the end. Now our Raspberry Pi 3 with no cooling, it uh, started at 45.6, almost uh, actually more than 10 degrees difference and uh, it got as hot as 82.2 degrees Celsius so alright guys so that's pretty much it 
Now I want to talk about a project that I'm working on. I'm working on a water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3 cluster, and I did a few of the videos already. Now, if you guys want to see that video series through, please like this video. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossProtect.com, and thank you for watching. <laughs>